Hydronews new update added this lovely new material called core stone, which looks like it'll blow up in a given second. Obviously the drills in Hydronear range from tier one down to tier two, like these guys who are working hard. But thanks to the new prospecting update, we have tier three versions, which take a lot of things to make. So give me my hydro coins because I need to get to work. Step one, buy a giant machine. Step two, drive said machine around with no license. And then obviously step three is to flatten the land around you. Why isn't this flattening? All right, I have an idea. Punch, now we can flatten the land out. This is a very slow, but yet rewarding process. I deem this good enough. Ignore that big rock. Now I just need to move everything over here, which is as simple as doing a quick cut like this. Personally, I'm thinking a little system like this, wood flooring here, yada yada. A little something like this hole should work. Now time for Operation Mine Mark II. This is always my least favorite part. Ah, I feel like I'm a baby at the beginning of childbirth right now. I realized by using this modded rake that I found, I can make like pretty good looking steps. Oh, and this is like a whole iron deposit thing right here that I found. So of course I'll need to sculpt out a little spot here. I'd say this looks pretty good for my tier one mine. Now to just fill it with a bunch of stuff. A few minutes later. So after a while of just grinding and setting things up, I've now got my nice little tier one farm down here, which should give me a nice amount of things, not to mention all these drills that are in the iron specialty zone. Wait, these drills don't actually work. That's a design flaw. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. Look at all these little guys popping up though. They get sorted and they just kind of go into whatever right now. I forgot to make it where each thing has its own purpose. That's, you know, that's really my fault. Here we go. Now things are looking right. I built this because I thought it'd be cool to have one big mine. I just keep going down. However, another idea hit me. If I place a logic counter here, I can know how many ores have gone through. So if I did the same for tier two and tier three, well, wouldn't that be cool? So the only solution is to take my rake and start mining out another little system. A little longer than a few minutes later. A long time later, but it's done. Now to just hook up the entire system. This process tends to take a while too. I'm gonna have to make so many trips back to the shop, huh? Well, I got a full system set up that should just work out and send everything in well to all my little cauldrons. The only issue is I'm lacking the drills for it. That's fine. Turn these puppies on and they are working properly. Land sweet. I just need to go buy six more of these two, two drills. <laughs> take me my big pan. Take me my oars. And let's go see what I can do. And if the answer is not much, well, I'll lodge a formal complaint, which is my way of saying cause mass murder. All right. Throw them all in. Bang me up a new drill, please. Now to just repeat this process a irritatingly long amount of times. All right, game. Final one, if you please. I guess I never really thought about how I'm going to carry all these back. You know what? I have four of them and I can't see. I'm just going to wing it. If I kill a few birds on my flight back, so be it. <laughs> and we made it. Pick up a couple of these puppies. Side note, they're not actually puppies. They're drills. That'd be weird otherwise. And now are my new additions working fine? Yes. Go get the other two that didn't want to get on the stupid pallet, I guess. Come on, you two problem children. Never wants to be easy for me, huh? All right, everyone on and working properly. Spit a dirt out. Thank you. Looks like things are officially... I forgot to make a gem cutter. Oh, God. Give me you, gem polisher hook. My coins are over here somewhere. Now I need to not go make the biggest mess of all time. Gem, get going right there. Oh, the core stone. Yes. And it... Oh, what, what happened? Oh, no. Do I need to, like, auto-sort gems and their own little thing now? Because that's a whole other beast of a process. Man. All right, real quick. What happens if I compress them, though? Oh, they're kind of getting a little funky in there. It's fine. Let me try and yank all of these out. Dump them in. Oh, still more gems in there. Well, isn't this just a giant hassle now? All right, so I think it's time to see. Starting a 10-minute timer, and we'll see how many ores actually come through all these little machines. And these guys are big. And I've just started being able to get core stone also, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume I don't have enough quite yet for the tier three drills, but that's fine. I'll have it eventually. My anvil's on the floor now. Oh God, I've got a very laggy mass of gems. Gently, gently, perfect. I guess I'll have to make my own sorter for each individual gem system. Seems like a bit of a process, but you know, all right. I'm gonna go buy some more gem compressors. Let's see, there's emerald, sapphire, ruby, and onyx. No, not the Pokemon. 
I guess I might be able to make a system like this for them. Because this is kind of my thought process. If I made like a circle ring thingy, I could fit them in there relatively easy. Little emerald, sapphire, ruby, onyx. All right, I think this works. Now let me just actually hook it up to how my brain is seeing it. <laughs> I'm doing so much and I'm confusing myself now. All right, now unless I'm confused on something, all of these should work and compress gems down, ideally. I think I can take my magnet on a stick, drag all of these over, reconnect that little guy, and then just catapult all of those on. That seemed to, they seem to be getting stuck a little bit. Oh, I didn't make the drop big enough. Is that what happened? Oh no. I've got a great new idea. Delete cut gems, delete cut gems and compressor. I'm at peace. It's been about 25 minutes now too, and we've gotten 3,000 ores to come flying out of this puppy and just about 4,000 out of this one. So now I'm wondering if it's possible to start my tier three drilling adventure. At least one would hope so, right? Tier three drill master work. Go on, four stone in, cloudium in, and do I, yes, I had enough. Smack it down. Oh, hello, my tier three little spider drill thing. What, this looks a little odd, I think. The real question is, do I have enough to make the little harvester also? Survey says, I'm gonna assume that's a resounding yes. Oh, that, that looks scary in there. All right, friends, you're coming home with me. I'm just a bit curious on what automating you guys would be like. All right, drill and harvester. You might be thinking harvester, I hardly know her, but trust me on this. Did that poor right, no, angle it in like that. Going to quickly steal some pipes because I want to see my harvesters working nicely. Where is my shovel at? Come here. This is just tier one dirt, but I'm a little curious, no? Why isn't he mining? Oh, there we go. So it's just like a whole constant drilling cycle then, huh? And he's already shot out three different things. That's relatively fast. All right then, it's time to think up a plan for these weird little new guys. Because the pipes go in from the top, you'd be able to stack a giant row of them so easily. Let's think of the giant factory you could make with these things. The only issue is I'm not sure if this is the best place for it. And I mean, I kind of have a lot going on here anyways. Whole gem compression and all. But we did officially reach tier three drills. How fast am I getting core stone? Would I be able to make another one? Survey says no. that's not a hundred yet. All right, so it's probably like what? One drill an hour? Yeah, I, I can wait for that, I think. A few moments later. So it's been a little bit and now I think I'm ready to go get me a couple more tier three drills. Hello, giant mega press. There's one, that makes two. And now I can just slam the third on it. Maybe I should have put the pallet up there to transfer these back, but ah well. They'll get back one way or another. Go through the magic teleporting. And then do they fit on nice and neat? Yeah, they do. I can't see if there's any Boeing planes flying around right now. <laughs> I'm sorry if we collide. And touchdown. Now I just need to figure out how to get down to tier three. Maybe I can just combine these mines together. Tell you what, see you in like half an hour. It's dawning on me this is where tier three dirt is, but I don't have a tool to actually break any of it. That's all right though. I think I know the solution. I can just remember where I put those coins at. Pop them in, throw the advanced pickaxe down, and I did a little bit more quest grinding. So I was able to take a temporary loan out on this pickaxe. All right, into the mega hole. The best ore has always been found. The deeper you go, so I'm quite literally at the bottom now. Now, I think I've set this all up properly for them to get hit, run up this giant conveyor, do a little turn. I'm not sure if there's enough space for them to come up that rock mountain region, but we should be about to find out. Everything's running down here properly. Oh, I forgot to place a pipe there, huh? Silly me, now go wait. Turn that that way. Everything connects, water's dripping, drill is on. I figured these would be much larger in size being as I'm mining at the very bottom of tier three, but hey. So far so good, little guy. Yes, go, go, go. This is the part where it gets a little tricky. It seems like it's kind of going all the way up, in and out. Never mind, that is a giant piece of gold. And then it gets plopped onto this conveyor where it gets sorted with everything else. Sweet. That just means now I can hook up all of these puppies and finally sit back, relax, and just enjoy the immense amount of profit from all my drill farms. And let's reset the life on all these counters too. 
in celebration. Actually, I am a little curious. Can I have this? Oh, I did not mean to break the entire thing. Oh, God. I want the gold nugget. Thank you. From the very bottom of tier three is five pounds worth 86 hydro coins. Tier one is 2.6. So it's quite literally double the size. How about tier two, 4.4. Not as extreme of a jump, but still pretty noticeable. Man, these little tier three drills rock then. I guess all that's left is for me to maybe spruce up my base a little bit. I could do some farming over there, or I could make a giant tier three drill factory. Lots of options, lots of options. 